Hello and welcome to Vegas Ace's free course on Pi Gal Poker. I'm your host, Heather Ferris, and on today's episode, I'm going to teach you how to arrange your cards in a way that gets you the best possible house edge. We're going to do this by going over each poker hand ranking and discussing the most favorable way of setting up your cards. When you arrange your cards so they have the best house edge, this is known as the house way, and these are the rules that the casinos follow to give themselves the best advantage. The term house way means that it is a predetermined setting of the casino's hand depending on which cards they have received. The dealer must always set their hand according to the house way. If you forget the house way, or if you have a question on how to set your hand, feel free to ask the dealer or call over your floor and ask for advice. Starting from the lowest ranked hand, we're going to go through each poker ranking and describe the best way to set each hand. Out of the seven cards you were dealt, if you can't form a ranking hand, then this is known as a high card, and your best option is to place your highest ranking card in the high hand and the second and third highest ranking cards in the low hand. Next on the list is a pair. Always place the pair in the high hand and the next two highest ranking cards in the low hand. After one pair is two pair, and this is where it gets a little more in depth. But don't worry, we have a rule that will help you out with that. The two pair rule can be broken down like this. If you have a pair of jacks and sixes or anything higher, then always split the pair. If you have a pair of sixes and fives or anything lower, then always keep the two pair together. If you have anything else, then always split the pair. Unless you also have an ace in your hand, then you would keep the two pair together in the high hand and the ace in the low hand. Every casino is different, and some casinos treat their two pair rule differently than others. For example, in some casinos, they'll have you splitting jacks and sevens instead of jacks and sixes. Another deviation is if you have a pair of aces with any other pair, then always split the two. Next on the list is three pair. And if you have three pair, always put your highest pair in the low hand and the other two pair in the high hand. After three pair comes three of a kind. And if you get a three of a kind, then always keep the three of a kind together in the high hand. except if you have aces. You always split three aces so that a pair is in the high hand and one ace is in the low hand. If you have two three of a kinds, then place the lowest three of a kind in the high hand and split the higher three of a kind so that the low hand has a high pair in it. If there is a three of a kind with two pair, then play the highest pair in the low hand. Next on the list is a straight, followed by a flush, but we're going to lump them into the same group because they follow the same rules. Some poker hands don't want to follow the rules and want to pretend that they're mavericks, like the famous two pair game. Well, if you have a straight or a flush, always keep it in the high hand. Unless you have a six or seven card straight, then you would put your highest card in the low hand and the straight or flush in the high hand. If you have a six card straight with the pair at either end, then use the pair in the low hand and the straight in the high hand. 
The two pair rule must always be followed even if it splits up a straight or a flush. If you have a pair of jacks and sixes or anything higher, then split the pair. If you have a pair of sixes and fives or anything lower, then always keep the two pair together. If there is a pair of aces with any other pair, then always split the pair with the low pair in the low hand and the pair of aces in the high hand. If you have both a straight and a flush in your hand, then play the cards in a way that will give you a jack or better in the low hand. Next on the list is a full house. Always split a full house. Except when the low pair are twos and the hand contains an ace jack or an ace king, depending on the casino. If the full house has an extra pair, then play the highest of the two pair in the low hand. After the full house is a four of a kind. If you have a four of a kind of sixes and under, then always keep them together in the high hand. If they're sevens and higher, then always split. Unless you have an ace or any other pair, then keep the four of a kind together and place the ace or the pair in the low hand. If you have a four of a kind with jacks or higher and any other pair, then split the four of a kind so that you have a high pair in your low hand and two pair in your high hand. Unless that pair is sevens or higher, then you would keep the four of a kind together. If you have four aces, then you would split them up. Unless you had a pair with those four aces. If you had a pair of sevens or higher, then you would place the pair in the low hand and the four aces in the high hand. If the pair is sixes or lower, then play the pair of aces in the low hand and the two pair in the high hand. If you have both a four of a kind and a three of a kind, then split the hand up in a way that the highest pair goes in the low hand. Next on the list is a straight flush. And if you have a straight flush, then keep it as the high hand. But for anything else, you would split the straight flush the same as you would a straight. And you can play the straight or the flush over the straight flush if you have an ace or a king to play in the low hand. After the straight flush is a royal flush. If you have a royal flush, always play it in the high hand. Unless there are two pair of tens or higher, then split the hand. Always play the straight or the flush over the royal flush if it means that you'll have a king or higher in your low hand. And at some casinos, it's a jack or higher. Next on the list is a five of a kind, which is five cards of equal value, also known as the impossible hand. Why is it impossible? Well, we are only playing with one deck of cards. So, how does the impossible turn possible? with the Joker. Actually, more like the Joker card, since this is the card that can turn into the fifth ace, giving the player five aces. A five of a kind can only occur with aces and no other card. It's a good idea to always split up five aces so that there are two aces in the low hand. Unless, of course, you have a pair of kings. Then you would keep the aces together. Okay, now it's your turn to interact. Tell me about your thoughts and experiences in the comments section below. And tell me, is your house weight different than what we went over in the video? What are the similarities and differences? When you play, do you deviate from the house way? Why? And if this is the first time that you've been to our channel, Vegas Aces, then please subscribe because both our YouTube channel and website 
are dedicated to helping people learn how to play as well as deal casino table games. In fact, Vegas Aces is the world's first free dealing trade school. And not only do we offer videos on how to play and deal casino table games, but we also have flashcards, instruction manuals, and the very first world toke board where you can see the tokes from casinos all around the world. So please check out our website, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, remember to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.